Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Call of the Sea Overview. We're going back to my gaming roots, which is adventure games with puzzle mechanics. It is not so very often we're getting those nowadays, like the developers prefer to build more action experiences and invest less in like a storytelling or just story in general. To me that's where it's at, because then you create a bond with the game that can't be really copied into any other thing. If it's due to the money or lack of imagination, like this platform won't move forward if we won't like have more meaningful and unique stuff rather than copy paste mechanics. So Call of the Sea is an exploration adventure puzzle game where we're embarking on a journey through South Pacific to find out what have happened with Nora's husband searching among the remnants of a lost civilization. This genre is my specialty and I believe since like Shadow Point we didn't really see that many memorable storylines going on. This one seems to be pretty promising from what I can see. It's definitely gonna be slow paced where we will be searching around for clues in the environment and just engorge ourselves in the visuals. Speaking of that, they look pretty decent to me. It was downgraded for quest a little bit but not to the point that you can't make out what's written in some texts or some textures look completely bland, like everything has its own theme, they were definitely custom made for this game. The main question would be if the story line will actually be something interesting for me because we've had one love story on the platform which was Vanishing Grace and that was just a big whole hot mess. We just essentially have to find out if it hits my taste. Let's go to the gameplay. No. those voices we're underwater swimming but with no hands <laughs> well, where am I I mean the graphics are lower quality that I expected at least here The door? I know this place. I've been here before. This kind of feels almost like Alice in the Wonderland. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right, time to gather my things. <laughs> the timing before I can move. Yeah, here it's more polished. I don't know what happened there. Also, we turned too slow. It's still slow. <laughs> what are those things? I've still got to pack up a few more things. A dress? What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. 
I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. It's not that big of a deal. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. 1934. That's a long time ago. Suitcase. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. So what do we do? Oh, the code. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. <laughs> Very subtle. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. That wasn't it. Oh. All right, now it's open. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. A brass key with the letters C. Du this strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Hi. <laughs> Do I open it or something? Okay, I have an equipment, apparently. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. <sighs> I mean... Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was... It led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. <laughs> Real quick, the scale is off. I feel like everything's too big. The resolution also is very low, like, it's not the Grid Legends level, but I can definitely see the pixels just on the sides. And in the center as well, like, you know, it's this square A vision. Taking idyllic island surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? I mean, no. There's definitely something strange about this place. I don't like the graphics at all. Can I finally go? I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Okay, Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Il and mort. Island and death. Oh, I can definitely read this. Aki... okay. <laughs> Aki... conque, lira, se mo, nous avons profané cette île pour nia... pour... <laughs> yeah, I speak French, okay. <laughs> Trouver que l'amour n'allait pas plus loin. It must be a warning. 
about the dangers of the island. Yes, it says to not go further. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted too. Oh, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. Nose? Ew. Yeah, I mean, no, this is not the graphical department I'm expecting nowadays, like, it's not completely bad, but it's bad. <laughs> I wonder if it's because it's rendering the whole island or something. It's not pleasurable to look at, that's it. <laughs> Looks like it opens from the other side. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We put bone fish hook. It is a puzzle game, so it's about just searching for stuff. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Hmm, something's missing here. the cover like that it opens it so whoever sent me this key was here this is starting to look like a scavenger hunt okay yeah I would never think of it I mean, the texture is a little bit different and you can see the edges, like there's something in there, but it's discreet enough, I guess. Well, look what's hidden here. may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you damn- Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. In search for what? I mean, it's cute to have a journal with notes on it. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier, but a Polynesian version. Okay, I mean, I get it. It's just the puzzle adventure game with some storyline bridge that doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either I just wish it would not be that ugly <laughs> it's not tragic not at all I have high standards nowadays and I'm not a fan of this <laughs> the storyline so far is fine it's not something that's like very interesting like we're searching for a husband we have this illness, yada yada yada. It depends on the personal taste, but it's intriguing to see what's next, I suppose. The puzzles, well, I mean, this one. 
it wasn't really something that hard to figure out. I'm not sure if I needed a note for it, but it definitely helped if I would, you know, search more carefully the area. Things are interactable, like the stuff that you wouldn't really use. You can just pick up and or do something basic with it, but it's something comparing to most of the titles. I think just the whole issue is the rendering and the visuals, because the trailer definitely showed something different that I see here now. And it might be because it just renders everything in a very large approximity. I don't think it needs it. You need to focus on certain areas and then not load it in, but I guess just split the processing power because clearly this level of stuff is not acceptable. So at the end of the day, it's just fine to me. Maybe there's gonna be like a graphical update in the future, but we're looking at what we have here and what we have here is something just average. <laughs>